Hey guys, Derek here. We are back with another episode of My Hero Academia. This is season four, episode seven. Uh, this is called Go. Uh, last time on My Hero Academia, uh, it was essentially just a big table read, kind of like Night Eye um, brought in all these heroes and just kind of laid out like what what information they have, what they need to know and like what the potential plan should be going forward. Um, and so they're essentially gonna try and hit all these like locations that uh, the Yakuza have ties to and try and like root them out um, and save this girl. Um, obviously, uh, Izuku and Mirio are still kind of like reeling because uh, they couldn't save her, and then they find out that this girl is being used for experiments, so obviously they're really bummed about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know exactly, like, what will happen. I assume they're going to start implementing their plan, because it's called Go. So you theoretically would think that they're gonna go and do stuff, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, before we jump into the episode, uh, I want to make it known this is not a substitute for the original episode. Uh, watch that on your own um, in whatever whatever legal way you you normally watch the show. Um, yeah, if you want to if you want to leave a like on the video, that'd be awesome. If you want to see more reactions for My Hero Academia, make sure you're, make sure you're subscribed. Um, subscribed. I don't know if I even said that right. Um, if you want to see the full length reaction to this episode, head down to my Patreon. Uh, you can support me there. That'd be awesome. But other than that, let's jump right into the episode, shall we? That, that was, that was dumb. Go! They're literally just climbing a wall. You know they're gonna participate. Yeah, like you. <laughs> they're not gonna just be like, oh yeah. We don't have to be part of it. Oh, that looks so good. You can talk to All Might. Come on. Are you all right? You've been acting edgy and depressed ever since you started your work study. Oh, am I really? You can tell they're good friends because they can see when he's not at his best emotionally. If you ever want to talk or anything, just let me know. We're friends, right? Oh my gosh. Ida, you absolute gem. Just tell him what's going on. Sorry. It's okay. It's nothing. I can't tell you what's going on. Yes, you can. They're your friends. Heroes aren't supposed to cry. I don't know. I figure the heroes cry when they need to. God, Todoroki, you're awesome. They're such good friends. Oh my gosh, they're wonderful. <laughs> Don't you just wish you had friends like that? Oh 
What if they were asleep? <laughs> they just like don't get the message. The guitar riffs in this episode are really nice. Like, I'm really enjoying it. A member of the Hasai Kai visited a nearby department store the other day. He purchased a toy favored by young girls. What? That's pretty sparkly. <laughs> Listen, maybe the guy just likes cutesy stuff. Different strokes for different folks, Night Eye. You wanna tell us what you're doing with one? They're right over here. Whoa, where'd you come from? You were asking about Glitter Squad. I'm a fan too. Okay, so he used it on this guy. I thought he had to look into their eyes. You ended up using foresight. Come on, Midoriya. We're all over this. Let's rescue that girl. Take down those bad guys. Yeah. Good. Now it seems like he's back. At least he's uh, somewhat cheerful again. That's good. Regret and failure are an inevitable part of life. What's actually important, though, is what you learn from them. True facts, Night Eye. True facts. Eight AM. Does he know? Like, did he plan for this ahead of time? Through it, things are moving fast now, huh? You're energetic, considering how early it is. <laughs> He's like, come on, man, it's eight AM. Tone it down a bit. Still doesn't trust him. Come on, man. Ooh, I wonder if it, if it's gonna show. Oh no, not her. I was thinking it would show what they're doing to her, but it's his dad. Ooh. That guy got right up in there. He's got a power symbol on his shirt. into a giant dragon okay I see you yo Deku could already be at that room he's so freaking fast don't end it here come on Freaking A. Of course it ends right there. Back in here. Just barely. There's a lot of them out there. Sounds like they're running in the same direction. Which means they already know where they want to go. They probably already know where we are. It happened sooner than I thought it would. We can't afford to get down right now. That is what our bonds were greeted for. The eight bullets of the Hasai Kai Corps. Ooh. I 
kind of want to see those two just duke it out. Frick, so they're just gonna get out. <sighs> okay, uh, another solid episode. Um, this one was definitely, I think I like this one better. Um, just cause, I mean, last episode was good, like you're still interested, but um, like there was so much more happening in this episode. My head was itchy, so I took my hat off. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's so much more happening this episode. Um, it was super intense, actually, like, I feel like the whole first half of the episode was just, like, not, like, I mean, it was fairly emotional. Like, there were some emotional things happening. Um, Deku talking with Ida and Todoroki about, like, how they're just there for him. Like, whatever he needs. Like, it's okay to cry. Like, they can, t you can talk to them. Like, that was really nice. Like, I really enjoyed that. Like, they're kind of returning... Um, the favor that he has given to them previously. Um, and the whole first half of the episode was just, like, undercut with these, like, these subtle, like, guitar riffs and just beautiful, beautiful music, like, that I think really, um, really did a lot to sell just, like, the intensity and importance of what's about to happen. Like, it was just it created a, a certain atmosphere. It reminded me a lot actually of um, The Last of Us, just like this subtle like acoustic, like mandolin maybe, um, just really, really nice. Um, so you could tell that this was like an, an event that's happening. Uh, cause it, and they were just cut in these like subtle, like black screens with white text, like 8 a.m. Uh, like, this is happening, this is happening, same time. Um, and so I thought that was really nice. Um, Night Eye used his ability on the, the babysitter, we'll call him, uh, found out where exactly they are. Like, they know exactly where the hideout is, and they're getting ready to storm in. Um, and then this dude... <laughs> This massive dude just busts the door down and is like, let's go. Uh, and he gets met by a Dragoon. Uh, and so they're going to fight probably next episode. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, this was really good. It's, it's a bummer that Deku has to like hide what's going on from his fellow classmates. Um, because I think... I think a lot of this has been really weighing on him and he hasn't been able to talk to any of them about it. Um, so there's probably going to be a lot of pent up aggression. Um, and he's probably not going to go about things the way he should. Um, and it might cause them to get away. Uh, and like, like a racer said, uh, he's watching him cause he doesn't trust him yet. And I think, I think that's going to play out in this battle of like, he's so pent up and, and distraught over the fact that he didn't save her last time, that he's gonna try and save her this time and something's gonna go wrong because of it. Um, uh, one of the big three, he's gonna be taking on essentially a whole group of people by himself next episode. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, and these guys are probably gonna get away um, just in time, which sucks, um, like, they're leaving some underlings behind to, uh, stall, so they have time to leave, um, and then we'll see what happens after that, I don't know, uh, I really like this, I really like this season so far, I don't know if I like it as much as season three y yet, um, Season three just had such huge standout moments, like uh, All Might's fight with All For One. Um, like, that was huge, incredible moment. Um, 
that I think, I think that's like the top moment in the show for me so far. Um, and then like, uh, the battle between Bakugo and Deku, that was really cool. Um, season four hasn't had really any standout moments yet, um, to like elevate it, um, very highly. Um, like obviously the show is still really good, but it hasn't had that that huge moment that really like gets you hyped yet um so hopefully hopefully it comes soon this has been a really slow burn uh season so far so i hope i hope i really hope it picks up i don't know how many episodes are in this season if there's gonna be like 22 or whatever uh similar to previous seasons uh i think they had 20 plus maybe but i'm really enjoying it uh, if you guys like what you're seeing so far, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more of my reactions to My Hero Academia, head down to Patreon if you want to see the full-length reaction, um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you next time with more My Hero Academia. Peace.